The views toward the reflecting ceiling are vital to perform the analysis of luminaires, but the luminaires are not the only devices that exist on this type of visual. If we want to make a coordinated effort when we start to work on luminaires, we don't only open a lighting plant as we have already done, but must also activate all those elements that will be placed in this visual. It could be, for example, air conditioners, plumbing, or even passing electricity boxes, which can be lighting or power. In good practice, we must enable on our electric display other elements that can affect the placement of electrical devices. For example, we don't want to just place a lighting device in the same position as a terminal. And if that happens, we must coordinate with other disciplines to avoid such overlap. Something we must understand when we work with a reflective view, it is obvious that we are seeing things from the bottom to above. It's like seeing through a mirror. We must understand that we must change or take into account the view range to find out what it is shown and what it is not. Note that here in plan view, for example, in the cafeteria, we can observe the table. But in a view of the ceiling, it doesn't appear because the cutting plane is above that table. We must consider how these objects are displayed. Also, in this view, the stairs change. How can we edit the view range? As we have done with other views, if we have domain of architecture out of this rabbit, we'll review it again. Without selecting anything, see the view properties and at the end, we found the option view range. This is below extents, but in this case, the view range is not editable. And it is because when we work with our link file, we created a configuration of the views using templates. As there is an associated template, we can edit the view range directly. Therefore, we must go to Identity Data and edit the template that affects this view. If we edit by pressing that button, now we can edit the view range. Note that the cut plane is at 1200 mm. That's why the tables are not visible. They are below that height. But if I type 500 mm and press OK, note that, notice that now the tables appear. Depending on what our display range is, it will edit what we want to see. I'll go back and leave it as it was. When we work with this kind of reflective views, some problems can be generated to transmit data to the construction agents and constructor. For example, what is above can be seen below because it is a reflective view. A good practice to avoid such problems is by using a final sheet and overlap two types of view. I'll show you how to do this. I will create a new sheet using the A1 metric title block. Press OK. Here, I will drag the 01 entry level lighting plan view. On top of that, I will drag the 01 entry level ceiling view. We align them. OK. What did I do? I put the plan view and above completely align the view of the ceiling. Now, if we go to the ceiling view, what we should do is turn off all those elements that are not devices, such as walls and so on. If we go here to the system tabs, electric, lighting fixtures, and we randomly place on face some lights, Now we go to the properties of this ceiling plan and edit the template view properties, visibility graphics, and turn off all the model categories. And I'll just click on the lighting fixtures and lighting devices, apply and press OK. 
Now, if we go back to the shape view, we're seeing the devices have, if they were placed in a plan view, not a mirror view. This can help because I'm watching a direction that it is common for the builder. It is easier for him to understand and it is a good practice. So now I just concentrate on placing the air conditioner ducts, connecting luminaires, placing electric boxes for the lights so the contractor will see it from top down, making it a little easier for him to understand what it is happening. We won't have problems with the view range because what's up will be seen above and that facilitates the interpretation. This is a practice that you can follow, but it is not obligatory. We really wanted to show that it is an option that you can follow. I will go back to avoid the view change and delete this sheet and those luminaires too. Another thing is to keep in mind, it is necessary to avoid solo type work like working at my desk without listening to what it is happening in other disciplines. That does not facilitate the job. In fact, BIM is about sharing information and coordinating work. How could problems arise if this is not taken into account? Suppose we are in the early stages of design and the architect may want to put some lights to see what it looks like, to feel its visual effect. However, it might be that these luminaires are just placed to feel the visual effect. They aren't the ones that an electrical engineer actually uses after completing the necessary low requirements or after certain lighting needs. And the amount of necessary lumens, this can cause problems. How do we solve it? Determining previously which the, with the architect what type of lighting will be used and if they are on a list available to the electrical engineers, so later he can use the necessary loads on that lighting. A good practice will be to define this at the beginning. Another problem that can occur is that we must determine who will create ceilings. This is important because in the early stages, the architect may have not created the ceiling yet. because it is focused on doing just floor plans, is making the programming. However, the electrical engineer needs to place the lights that go above the ceilings, and there is a temptation that although the architect has not yet designed it, maybe we should create it. Then the architect, when the project advances, creates his own ceiling. There will be a problem of two elements in different disciplines that are overlapping. To avoid this problem, again we must check with the architect who will create ceilings and the elements that are placed on top of it. What will be a good practice for us that we are working on the electrical discipline to avoid this overlap? One solution would be instead of creating ceilings on our own, Let's go to Architecture, and we create reference planes. We'll go to the East Electric Elevation view, and we can create a reference plane using this tool. And we can name that reference plane Ceiling. Thanks to these reference planes, I can place my electrical devices using devices placed in a flat face on this plane instead of placing it on the ceiling. Now, when the ceilings are created, what we'll do is that each electrical device that exists in these plans be changed from host to the ceiling that the architect created. It is a way to coordinate our efforts. It doesn't stop my efforts to create my electrical analysis, and yet I do it in a way that facilitates collaboration in the future. In these cases, we must consider that the way the devices are placed in such situations 
will depend on how we create the reference plane. To give you a case, I will place an electrical device, go to the 01 entry level lighting plan view, and we will place a fixture here. And I'll put it on a work plane. And the plane will be the one created before, named ceiling. Here it is placing it correctly. But now I go back to its view and we create a reference plane in the opposite direction. I will create it from right to left. We'll name it plane D. And I go back to the previous view, where we will place again an electrical fixture. But in this case, we select the plane D. Now the luminaires will be placed in the opposite direction. If we look here, I will create a section view and open it. Observe that there is one luminaire facing upwards and another facing down. Observe the reference planes using the architecture reference planes that was created from left to right and another one from right to left. That caused one luminaire to be placed face up and the other one face down. We must consider how we created the reference plan. The second option is the right, we're looking down from right to left. In this way, we will work on a reference plane and change the whole selecting the item and option here. It says, pick new, pick new work plane. In this case, instead of selecting a work plane, we will select the ceiling that the architect has created.